Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with less than sign plus sign minus sign plus sign greater than sign by Rock Rat Zero. So we have normal six by six Sudoku rules in every row, every column, and every two by three box. We are placing the digits one to six exactly once each. We also have standard killer cages. So digits, uh, you'll see that there's cells outlined by dotted lines here. Those are called cages. Digits in a cage sum to the value in the top left, so in this case these five sum to 15. And additionally, digits can't repeat in a cage. So if I put a two here, I can't, or a two is a bad example. If I put a four here, I can't also put a four here. Sudoku would normally allow you to, but in a cage you cannot repeat. That, uh, that, that's a good thing, that helps you with the sum. <laughs> it also can add some interesting geometry there and exclusions. So. Um, yeah, there's a link in the description if you want to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. So I do think these 15s are the place to start. So anyone who's familiar with uh, killer cages will know that five cells at minimum sum to 15. That's the triangle number for five. One plus two plus three plus four plus five is 15. So that's what these are going to be, one through five. So what that means is that there's no six in it. And so this box needs a six, and it can't go there, so it's going to go there. Additionally, this cage is going to need a 2, and none of these can be 2, so the 2 is going to go there. That 2 now restricts this 5, because 5 can be either 1, 4, or 2, 3, but it can't be 2, 3 anymore. So it's 1, 4, and this 4 tells us the order. Very nice. Um, okay, let's take a step back. What else do we need to do here? 15 and 3 feels very, yeah, three, 15 and 3 in a 6 by 6 can only be 4 plus 5 plus 6. And we know exactly what order they are placed in because of the six and four that are conveniently um, placed there. Um, we also need a one and a three in this row, and those are also completed. So these are going to be three, four, five without the four there. And then these are going to be a one, two, and we know the order. This is going to be four, five, six, and we know that's not the four. Okay, we know there's no six in here, so that's not a six. Um, also, this can't be a 6 because there's a 6 in the column. So this is a 6 for the box. That's a 5 and a 4. Um, we do know these are the same two digit, similar to what we did up there. Um, they can't be 1. I guess they could be 2 or 3. They can't be 4, 5, or 6. Okay, so we don't quite know what that is yet. We do know this is a 4, 5, 6, so we can clean that up a bit. We can actually place the 6. Okay, so a 4 5 pair of here means this is not 5. And we know this 5 looks down. So this the 5 for the box is here. These two are the same digit. We just we need one okay, we need one, two, three in this column, and I see this one, two looking over. So that's three, that's one, that's two. That places this two as well. These two are both known. Uh, that's a six and that's a three. This is known. Uh, it's a one. Okay. Um this is 2 and 3, we know the order. This is uh, 5, and I am scanning the roping to help uh, quickly find those digits. And then finally we do need the 1, 6, 3 over here. So this is 1, this is 6, this is 3. Nice and quick, thanks Rock Rat. Um, appreciate it. The, uh, yeah, I think, I think this is a good puzzle to sort of learn about max or uh, minimum and maximum cages both of which are 15ths so that's pretty neat um yeah just just kind of knowing and learning cages to really look out for um that are going to be restricted can really speed up your solve and find uh kind of where the intended start is for the puzzle and then also looking at what's not in a cage can be more helpful than what is in a cage, especially for large cages. So that's another cool technique uh, to include in the puzzle. So thank you, Rock Rat, again. And of course, if you enjoyed this content, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.